Bitcoin, the digital gold, a revolutionary currency that's taken the world by storm. But what happens when all the Bitcoin is mined? Will it crash and burn or become even more valuable? We all know there's a finite amount of Bitcoin. Only 21 million coins will ever exist. But what happens after that last one is mined? Will miners abandon ship, sending Bitcoin crashing? Or will it become a scarce, ultra-valuable asset? Stick around as we explore the potential future of Bitcoin and what it means for investors and the world. Let's get into it. The Current Status of Bitcoin As of December 18, 2023, there were 19,573,975 Bitcoins in circulation, leaving 1,426,025 Bitcoins yet to be mined from the limited supply of 21 million. A defining feature of Bitcoin or BTC is its restricted coin availability, a deliberate choice by Satoshi Nakamoto, the pseudonymous creator of Bitcoin, to enhance its scarcity over time. This scarcity contributes to heightened demand and price appreciation. New Bitcoins enter circulation approximately every 10 minutes through the creation of a new block on the Bitcoin blockchain. The protocol mandates a halving of the block reward every 210,000 blocks occurring roughly every four years, effectively reducing the number of Bitcoins produced per block by 50%. Will the total number of Bitcoins ever surpass 21 million? The total number of Bitcoins to be issued is capped at 21 million. However, due to the Bitcoin network's utilization of BitShift operators, mathematical functions that truncate decimal points to the nearest whole number, the issuance may fall slightly below this threshold. This truncation occurs during the halving of block rewards, where the reward for mining a new Bitcoin block is halved and the calculation is made in Satoshis. A Satoshi is the smallest unit in Bitcoin at 0.0000001 BTC and can't be halved. The Bitcoin blockchain uses BitShift operators to round down for new rewards, causing a gradual decrease in total Bitcoins issued. 21 million Bitcoins can be minted, but many may be lost due to reasons like lost private keys. A study suggests up to 20% of Bitcoin issued could be permanently lost. After the mining of all 21 million Bitcoins, what unfolds next? Once the maximum number of Bitcoins is reached, estimated to be just below 21 million, no additional Bitcoins will be created. The impact of Bitcoin hitting its supply cap is expected to influence Bitcoin miners, with the extent of this impact contingent on the evolution of Bitcoin as a cryptocurrency. Despite this, Bitcoin transactions will still be grouped into blocks for processing, and miners will receive compensation primarily through transaction processing fees. By 2140, if Bitcoin mainly acts as a store of value, miners might still make a profit with low transactions and no block rewards they could raise fees for large transactions using faster layer 2 blockchains like Lightning Network with Bitcoin for daily transactions. How many Bitcoins have been successfully mined so far? As mentioned earlier, a total of 19.57 million Bitcoins have been mined, with approximately 1.45 million Bitcoins left to be released. It's important to note that the Bitcoin supply is limited to a maximum of 21 million coins. This scarcity is a key factor contributing to the unique value proposition of Bitcoin as a decentralized digital currency. The controlled supply mechanism ensures that Bitcoin remains a deflationary asset, setting it apart from traditional fiat currencies subject to inflationary pressures. This scarcity model has implications for the long-term value and adoption of Bitcoin within the global financial landscape. Is Bitcoin a scarce resource? Bitcoin stands out as the inaugural asset in history to possess absolute mathematical scarcity. This scarcity, which can be verified by any network member, is governed by an algorithm within Bitcoin's source code known as Bitcoin Core. Through this algorithm, miners producing blocks earn fresh Bitcoin, aiding them in offsetting the substantial mining expenses. However, every four years, the algorithm halves the block subsidy in a process known as the halving. This cycle will persist until approximately 2140, when the influx of new Bitcoin per block will dwindle from one Satoshi to zero. What occurs with mining fees once Bitcoin reaches its supply limit? Bitcoin miners are expected to maintain charging mining fees even when it reaches its limit due to the ongoing necessity of verifying transactions and creating new blocks. This crucial process ensures the integrity of the blockchain network. As mining fees transition into the primary incentive for miners, there is a growing possibility of an increase in these fees to adequately compensate for their operational costs 
and the substantial efforts required to uphold network security, optimize efficiency, and ensure the reliable functioning of the blockchain ecosystem. The eventual mining of all 21 million Bitcoins will not signal the end of the Bitcoin network, but rather the beginning of a new phase characterized by an evolved incentive structure for miners and potentially higher transaction fees. This evolution will likely necessitate adjustments within the broader cryptocurrency ecosystem, including how transactions are processed and how miners are remunerated. What do you think about this rounding quirk? Perhaps you need more info on Bitcoin. Then, click the image on your screen and dig deep into Bitcoin and the future of the global economy. Leave a comment below and stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching.